People, we have upgraded from deluxe figures, in quotation marks. Uh, and we've moved on to a Voyager now, the only, oh, well, you know, Voyager in quotation marks. We have moved on to the only land-based vehicle of the Predators team. We are moving on to Stalker, who looks suspiciously like Soundwave. And for me, as a kid, was my Soundwave toy, because I didn't have the cassette guy. Uh, I, I had this guy, and I was like, ah, he's near enough Soundwave. <laughs> Let's have a look straight at him then. Uh, I am missing his giant missile on his back, but I will have a picture of it up uh, somewhere in this video. So please, you know, consideration. And if you're interested in looking at the rest of the Predators, I have uh, links potentially floating around this video somewhere. So let's get on and have a look at my sound wave from back in the day, uh, Stalker. Let's get on, people. Du -du 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 -du. Stalker here is a four-tracked satellite station, apparently, uh, and also a rocket launcher. He's extremely 90s with pink and green everywhere and really cool angles, which you won't see in any kind of modern-day vehicle. I can guarantee you of that, people. And very similar to the Jets, the underside of this guy doesn't really give away anything about his robot mode. Everything's pretty well hidden apart from uh, the arms, which you can obviously see there, but that's not a huge deal, really. But there is one problem I would like to mention about uh, this here, and it's his wheels. His wheels are really kind of crud. Uh, they're tiny for a start, they're not very good, and uh, mine anyway stick, or at least uh, they don't roll very well, so uh, he is no good at rolling. This here, this is all him just sliding on the table. Nothing's really moving here, it's all real depressing. <laughs> I kind of wish he had some better wheels, but... Uh, I think that's enough for this mode, so let's take him to some robot mode. So he is Stalker in his robot mode, looking pretty boss. His articulation pretty much consists of his arms going all the way around like this. Uh, very clicky joints, very nice. The arms can slightly move in, but uh, it's not really going to do you any good, unfortunately. It's just, you know, a crossover from the transformation. The shoulders can move, but again, why would you want to? And the leg, uh, the waist moves a little bit if you can move the arms out of the way here. It's got a good click to it, as you can tell. Uh, and the legs even have a bit of movement to them as well if you get those back panels out the way. Uh, so you can just edge them like that and it it makes him a little bit more dynamic. Not, you know, more dynamic for a Generation 1 toy anyway. I mean, he's, he, you know, he's no Super Robot Chagokin Mike Gain, which you should have a look at that video if you like. Uh, accessories, gun, what a shock. Uh, missile... Hey, he's got a lot of these missiles here. He's got two on the shoulders and also two on the legs. Oh, one on the leg, but these do pop off fairly easily and can be a little bit more difficult to get on just because of uh, those pegs being irritating. Missile works as usual. Nothing new there. Uh, real good spring to it. Um... Stork is actually the one that destroys most of my uh, handles here for the guns, unfortunately. And... Uh, I, th I have an awful feeling he's going to do it here. I have broken many a peg. Uh, the back port there is for his giant missile, obviously. You could also store it on his shoulders. I do have some pictures to put up uh, just, to have a, just to show you what that looks like. And, oh, yep, there I go. I've broken the handle off that gun. Fantastic! This is how awful these little guns are. And let's move on and talk about his light piping, because he has a panel at the top and one at the back there. It's not desperately good, but uh, it still works well. He's got really big light piping eyes, so he can filter that light right through his mush quite well. If I can get the light in the right position. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty cool. I do like that. A big visor of evil death. I, it's pretty awesome. He's got a pretty strong face sculpt as well with that big eye visor and the head crest. Very Soundwave-esque, but not exactly Soundwave. It just has a really good look to it, a very commanding look to it, as it should do since he is uh, the second in command. Stalker here is big, bright, chunky, and colourful. He is, again, as the rest of these Predators are, super 90s. And if you have an affection for that kind of aesthetic, I think you are going to really enjoy this toy. If you need uh, the articulation, you're not going to get it. If you need uh, that kind of more modern look of today's Transformers, again, you're not going to get it. But yeah, 
a fun toy. Uh, so if you can find it, I would recommend you pick it up. Uh, if you don't want to pick it up, read about him in Last Stand of the Wreckers, for he's pretty badass in there, and evil, uh, and, and damn you Nick Roche and James Roberts. But that's another matter for another time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. This has been Andy, Cobra Commander, TFW, saying thanks for watching, and I will catch you again next time in the future of some description. Catch you later, peoples.